After the federal government's most recent report on inflation showed signs of stabilizing, homeowners with mortgage rates at high interest rates are among those hoping the lending market will follow suit. While it's too early to tell if and when home loans will become more affordable, even a modest drop in rates can make refinancing an attractive option. Mortgage buyer Freddie Mac reported recently that the average rate on a 30-year mortgage was 6.69% for the um, week ending January 25th, slightly up from uh, the week prior when average rates reached their lowest since May 2023 at 6.6%. A year ago, the rate averaged 6.13%. The average rate on a 15-year fixed rate mortgage rose to 5.96%, an increase from uh, a previous week when the rate averaged 5.76%. It was 5.17% a year ago, according to Freddie Mac. But rates are still a far cry from the estimated 3% that held for much of 2020 and 2021. Some consumers have already decided the time is right. Mortgage applications for the week ending January 5th increased 9.9% .9 from the previous week. Refinancing might not be the best choice for some homeowners that have locked in a low rate. A home equity line of credit, or HELOC, is one alternative to traditional refinancing. A HELOC allows homeowners to access some of the equity they've built up without taking out a new mortgage. Know your mortgage. That's the best advice most mortgage experts are giving to consumers. And, you know, work with an experienced lender or mortgage broker. If it doesn't work, they should be able to tell you. Lewis and I are here in St. Augustine, Florida. We have uh, trusted partners and lenders that we have worked with. We'd be very happy to recommend to you. And um, we wish you all a very happy, prosperous 2024, um, full of good decisions and hopefully uh, lower interest rates.